My name is Jose Gonzalez. I'm the Director of Suspension Technology at Trek, and my background is with Kawasaki Motors in the 80s and 90s. Uh, from there, I went to Manitou, first heading up the race program, and I was the Director of Research and Development at Manitou for about seven years. Uh, my total time at Manitou was about uh, just over 11 years, and started with Trek last July. One of the key technologies for 2008 is the full floater suspension system. Uh, full floater is basically the shock is mounted on two moving links. The upper one's mounted on the rocker. The lower portion of the shock is actually mounted on, a, on an extension of the uh, chainstay. Um, the difference is in the past, the lower shock mount has always been fixed to the frame and the upper one was mounted on the rocker. The, the advantage that comes from having the full floater is that you more accurately and precisely can control the leverage ratio and rate of the uh, system, which is what gives the bike the proper feel, proper function. Two of the key influences on leverage ratio and rate are the distance between this point here to the shock to this pivot, and then the, the angle between the rocker and the shock. That angle changes as the shock gets compressed and the amount of change is what dictates the leverage ratio and the rate. The advantage of having a moving mount down here is when you have a fixed mount, that angle's pretty much fixed. You know, you, you can only control it so much because the shock is swinging around this point. But when you have a moving mount, as this compresses, this is also swinging out. So you're able to maintain a more constant angle between the rocker and the shock, allowing you to accurately control the effect on the shock. What does that all mean on the trail? It's very simple, really. It gives you excellent small bump performance, maintains that R1 mid-stroke control, which is critical to eliminate that wobble that you get on other designs, and at the same time, allows you to have that bottomless feel so that the bike feels like it has much more travel than it truly does. Well, the whole package gives you a bike that climbs like a cross-country bike, and in this case, the Fuel EX actually descends like an all-mountain bike, not a trail bike. It's all about quality, not quantity. Um, we're making more of the travel that we have and the advantage to that is you can maintain a little bit lighter weight, but still reach higher levels of suspension performance. 